What's up guys, the Panthers here, and welcome back to another episode of Draft to Glory, episode 103 now. Thank you guys for being here. Of course, team of the season most consistent is in packs, and that is what we're going for. The last two episodes, I've let myself down massively with my poor defensive and really bad um, kind of uh, disciplinary play. Uh, I've been getting a lot of red cards, and I've just been defending really bad recently, and I need to change that, and that stops today. We're going to put our focus glasses on today. And try our absolute best. I have played the offline draft once already. And we got ourselves a premium gold pack and a gold players pack, which is shit. So I am going to do it again um, and make sure that we're able to uh, have a good a good, a good, good attempt at packs. And uh, with that in mind as well, we're also going to do, uh, obviously, an online draft and hopefully win. So the choices we've got, uh, 352 and 4141 and 422 are definitely not what I'm interested in. I've had really good success with the 532. But I'm probably going to go with the 41212 wide today just because I haven't used it in such a long time and there's some really good options of players there. And I tell you what, I might just take that striker Ronaldo. Um, I might take that Aguero. In fact, if you look at striker Ronaldo and then look at 90 Aguero, Aguero's one pace less, one dribbling more, same shooting, better passing, a little bit worse physical and a bit worse defending. Let's go with Sergio Aguero and let's maybe try and build into a BPL team. Ooh! Ooh, choices. We could go with team of the season, Ilicic, who people have told me is amazing. We could then play him at striker or cam if we got another Fiorentina player to work with him. But I'm not going to take him. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with what makes sense, and that's take Wayne Rooney alongside Aguero and stick with this BPL um, kind of setup. And we'll take that inform Eriksson as well for the cam spot. So three BPL players so far. We get that Hazard. That would be brilliant. There is that. Ha Ooh. Do I go with my dude Alexis Sanchez? High, high, three star, four star. Let's compare them. He's got less pace, less dribbling, same shooting, less passing, a bit better physical. And then Hazard has 4-4 four, four compared to Sanchez's 3-4. Sanchez 5-7, Hazard 5-8. I'm probably going to have to go with Eden Hazard here. And it makes sense. It makes sense. He's, he's a very, very good card and he helps the rating of the team as well. And now on the right hand side, what do we get? I mean, we could go with this Pedro. We could go with this Mane card. Blistering pace. Okay shooting and passing. Okay dribbling. Four star. Or we could go with Pedro, who's got amazing shooting, amazing dribbling. Good passing. Just a little bit worse pace. I'm going to go with Pedro. Five star weak foot and four star skill moves. He, for me, will be the dude that we take. And um, I'm going to play Rooney on the right-hand side there as well. Now, in this CDM spot, if we could get Kante... The team of the season, I'll be so happy. We can't. In fact, we don't even get a BPL player. So we'll take Mascherano um, as he has the, the best option to get links with the likes of like Otamendi. Um, in at left back there, I guess we're going to have to go with Luke Shaw. I wouldn't mind getting a different left back at some stage. And if we could get Bellerin here, we cannot. Um, who have we got? We've got Spanish at right back, right mid. Let's go with Rosales. No, let's go with Verhaeg. Just in case we get Van Dyke team of the season here, which we didn't, but we did get Skirtle. Um, Skirtle's got a great card as well, medium high, six foot three, fantastic stuff. We just we need a BPL CDM really, um, and again we've got good defensive options here. Could go for Tonga, could go all the else. I'm probably going to go Shawcross. I really like this card. I've used him several times before, and he's always been effective for me. So there's no reason to not go with him again. Um, in terms of goalkeepers, I get such terrible luck on goalkeepers. So Caballero's got better diving, better reflexes, worse kicking, worse handling, but better position, better speed. So we'll go with Caballero instead of Forster there. And that's the, that's the start of the team, guys. So we need a right back and a CDM for the BPL. And other than that, we're just looking at taking the super subs. Um, and in terms of the super subs, wait, have we got a French man in there? We haven't, otherwise Pogba might have been all right. In terms of super subs, we will take that Marco Royce 88 version uh, in hopes for a better Ronaldo. Uh, could take that San Jose because he gets a link with Mascherano and would offer a bit better chemistry, maybe. Could take Danilo. And then if we get Willian, we'll put Danilo at right back. That makes more sense, in my opinion. Um... Right, we've got Biglia doesn't work, Marlos doesn't work, 
again, it's, it's, more, it's more to the point of let's take something that actually works for the team. And that's probably going to be Gareth Bale. So we take Bale as a superstar. We could actually play then Bale and DeMarcos down that right-hand side. Uh, we get Tadic at left mid, although he doesn't help. We already have a left mid. We get Taliso, he doesn't help. We don't have French, Crondelli. So we'll take Neymar on this occasion. And um, it's actually a shame that... Uh, in fact, Bale, that goes down to 87. That goes up to eight, That goes up to 88 from 86. So that's definitely where we'll go for now. Um, I don't want to build into a BPL. I actually want to build... Sorry, B, La Liga. I want to build a BPL. Um, we'll take the Ronaldo on this occasion. So we've got Ronaldo and Neymar. We've got Pedro. We've got Royce for, for backups. Most importantly, we just need that CDM spot from the BPL. And I'll definitely take Victor Valdez because he's just, for me, he's got worse diving and worse reflexes, but better handling, better kicking, better speed and better positioning. I'd say that's a, a fair trade in my, uh, in my opinion. There's Hector Bellerin. I'll definitely take him. Um, and uh, if we now put him back in the team and then Pedro back in the team, I think we get high there. Yeah, there you go, 95 chem now there. So it is indeed just the one CDM spot that we're looking for. And other than that, this team is brilliant. So even if we've got another BPL centre-back, I wouldn't be too displeased. Let's take PK there, um, just because a centre-back on seven chem would be okay. I mean, there's CDMs here. They're just not working for us. We could take Xavi Alonso because he'd, he'd get... I think he'd get... No, there's five links. He'd need two. Um, and Zonzi doesn't work. Kedira doesn't work. We're going to take Xavi Alonso. Yeah, he doesn't He doesn't get any bonus chem, even though he gets that one link, just because he needs another link to help, um, which is quite unfortunate. We're going to have to get super, super lucky here. And it's not looking like we're getting super, super lucky here. Fernandez, Argentinian, doesn't work. Uh, that's a shame. I don't think I've missed any players either. I think I've picked, like, a good set of players. The only thing we can do is take Mane and put him in at CDM. I don't think he'll get a bonus chem. We'll take him. Okay, so it does give us the chem that we need. Um, on this occasion, uh, so 6 and 9 or 3 and 10. So we'll have to put uh, Ericsson down there at CDM um, for now. Uh, and then maybe we'll swap around... Um, in the in the game and nothing here helps at all. So that's the team guys. It's not the highest rated to be honest It's probably only gonna be like a 187 um, After we get the uh, the subs on after we get the Ronaldo and the Bale on uh, I would expect it to probably be a 187. Let's get him off for Gareth Bale uh, So it's a 186 there um, It's a nice team. It's such a shame. I'll be so disappointed if what have we got here? What do I need? I need BPL manager, really, don't I? There's not a BPL manager. Come on! That's ridiculous. Who else do we need? I, I like Only a BPL manager would have really uh, helped us there. Um, the only other thing I can do is play Neymar and Mascherano and PK in that left-hand side. So we could try Mascherano here. Let's put Shawcross out over there. Let's put PK in here. Let's put Neymar up here. No, wait, that's not Neymar. No, see, we lose, we lose mad chemistry for that. That's just not worth it. And we don't have, like, a, unless we actually put Danilo here. That puts us up to 92 chemistry. Um... I, I just don't know if I'd prefer to have a a good CDM in that CDM sport if I'd prefer to have Ericsson there. What's Ericsson's stats like? See, he's like he's high medium, he's 5'10, he's not gonna win at anything. It's gonna be really trouble like it's gonna be troubling to try and get him there. The only other thing we could do, in fact, if we've got Ronaldo here, we lose Kem. If we try it on the right hand side, because we've got a right back, um, let's put Shaw back in here. Uh, we'll put Hazard back in, we'll put Shaw back in. Um, and then we've got PK, Danilo, and then Gareth Bale at right back. What am I missing here? Um, and then he, even then, it doesn't it doesn't really work. If, I, if only I took that Diego Costa, it would have been an absolute treat if I took that Diego Costa. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that doesn't really work either because it's at like you know six chems and seven chems and stuff. I'd much prefer the perfect chemistry. Um, 
and it just it's just not it's not viable. What we'll do is we'll play game one, guys. We'll play game one with the 100 chem BPL team, and we'll play. And, and if it, if it's failing, if it's just if it doesn't seem like it's going to work, we'll tr change it up and we'll put on um, the La Liga right hand side with that Mascherano in at CDM. Failing that, I could obviously always just sub. Uh, I could sub Mascherano straight on and sub Mane off and see where we go. But that is the team that we built, guys. Let's get into the gameplay. Okay, guys, as we get into the gameplay, the first opponent we come up against has got a 3-4-3 team. Very nice players there with Bale, Messi, Benzema, Ronaldo, and Neymar. Pretty much the best kind of attacking five you can get as a collective, in my opinion. Um, bit of a weak midfield, but this was one of those games for me. Um, you know, I'm, 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 t I'm, I know I'm making a lot of excuses. I'm tired of making excuses. I, I know I'm playing bad, and, and one of the reasons for that is because I just put so much pressure because of, because I want to do so well for you guys in Draft of Glory. I put so much pressure on myself to win, and I'm still in that phase where on my main account when I'm playing Draft just for fun, just to see you know what if I can get a 190 or to see what packs I get. I'm getting to the final basically every single time. But as soon as I come on Draft of Glory, I just can't get through the first couple of rounds. Uh, this game was like started off really good for me, though. I was creating chances. I was the aggressor. Um, you know, some of them weren't fantastic chances, but some of them were really, really good opportunities. And um, I lost possession of the ball right there after 24 minutes. And he literally just played one through. He, he touched the ball two times. And in that two touches, the ball went from his box to my goal. And once again, I just, you know, I concede off of a counter-attack. And now, in the last episode, I talked about this a little bit as well. And you guys gave me some good advice. Uh, you know, use second man press and then cover the passing lanes. Um, and, you know, so a few other things. And whilst I do appreciate that advice, it's so hard to, like, I'm so set in my ways for this year of FIFA because we've been playing it for so long this year now already. We're, like, what, like seven, eight months in that I have to force myself to remember to change. And that's really difficult. Like, you, you know, when you play FIFA, if you played as many games as me or even half as many games as me, what you find is that you do things out of instinct without even thinking about it. So when you have to try and change something, you have to then think about it. And when you have to think about it, it changes the way you play and in turn probably makes you play worse. So I need to like like think about it a lot probably off camera off recording until it becomes natural for me to second man press and cut passing lanes but we did equalize which was pretty good we equalized with Sergio Aguero we then got clean through with Sergio Aguero the guy tried to try to found me tried to take me out it probably would have been a red card but Aguero hurdled the tackle and then lost the ball and it's so frustrating when that happens because you're just like no just go down go down and then in the 80th minute guys lovely bit of trickery there from him in the box passes it out to Gareth Bale Bale passes it into Messi Messi scores. it's a great goal I can't take anything away from the goal but it's just very very annoying that I've been just, you know, controlling, having chances. Is like Petr Cech was just on an absolute different level. You know, he made some crazy, crazy good saves, and it just became very frustrating. And another unbelievable save there from Petr Cech to stop Royce from scoring. And ultimately, we end up losing the game 2-1. So in the first round, we go out. Fortunately, we've got those packs from the offline draft for today's episode. So there's still hope that we might pack a team of the season. Um, but who knows? Let's find out. Let's get into the packs. So guys, um, a round one exit after two first round, second round exits in a row. Um, I'm just playing bad FIFA right now. They're, they're, you know, no excuses. No, no, no. Are oh, this and that went wrong and the other went wrong. I'm just playing really bad right now, and I get in these little slumps in Draft of Glory because I'm like I, I so badly want to do good for you guys. Like I want to give you the best like content, and first round and second round exits are just not the best kind of content. So I, I really want to get to the final one. And the pressure that I put myself under to do that causes me to play how I normally wouldn't. So I've got to stop. I've got to get out of that mindset and just play normally and naturally. Um, so like I say, another another round one um, exit. And uh, we've been through slumps before and we always come out the back end of them good. I'm happy, to be honest, that we're going through these slumps during the most consistent team of the season. For the simple fact that the most expensive player we could pack is around 250,000 coins. Whereas when the BPL and the Bundesliga and the La Liga team of the seasons and such come out, you know, the, the, the level of player we can pack is much, much better. So I'm happy to get a bad slump out the way now, but I am very interested in, um, you know, winning pretty much. Anyway, on a brighter note, we did win the offline draft. Um, I just want to I, I show I just want to show you what the prize that I get because I'm hoping it'll be something different. It's premium gold pack and a jumbo premium gold 26 pack. So those are the four packs we've got off of um, 
the offline draft today. And, and I did a little bit of maths, guys, right? I did a little bit of math, math, maths, maths. Um, and uh, worst case scenario, from the two offline drafts that I do per episode, worst case scenario, I'm going to lose around 12,000 coins. Um, best case scenario, obviously, I make coins. But at worst, even if I sell the Randy consumables and get the worst types of packs for the offline draft, I'm still going to only lose around 12,000 coins at worst. Which means if we did it 20 times, I'm only going to lose around 240,000 coins at worst over 20 episodes which i actually think isn't too bad and that is the that is like like you don't expect to get worst case scenario every single time there are times where you expect best case scenario and you actually pull a player who's worth something anyway we get two gold packs and a silver players pack i'm actually interested in the silver players pack because i feel like ea have up to the card weight of the bronze and silver team of the seasons um, and lowered the ones of the gold because last year there was just a plethora of golds, pages upon pages, and they were so cheap. And there were just no silvers and no bronzes unless they were the dead weight ones that nobody wanted to buy. And that's because no one really opened the packs. But this year, because they're so common, so many people are opening the packs that there's just so many of them. So I'm hoping this silver players pack will actually be quite kind to us and show us a good time. And we get. There could be a bronze team of the season in there. There is not. Um, all right, let's have a look at the leagues. Right, he has got 85 pace and so may well sell. We'll send him to the club. Um, I don't believe any of these guys are worth anything. I don't believe any of them are worth anything. I could be wrong, but I don't believe they were worth anything. Right, let's get through these two gold packs. Then we'll do our two premium gold packs. And I think I'll actually I'll probably do the gold players pack next because uh, typically they're quite bad. Right, that's not the Fiorentina player that I wanted. Um, we'll send the contracts and fitness card and healing card to the club and we'll discard the rest. Now, bearing in mind that I'm, I know what prize I'm getting for winning the offline draft. But in the online draft, again, just to kind of take into consideration why I do the offline draft. Um, in the online draft for today, for example, if I just played that one game and then lost it... Um, we would literally be sitting here and uh, I'd have two gold packs and the silver players packs open and it would be shit. It would be truly shit. So we've got two premium gold packs, a jumbo premium gold 26 pack and a gold players pack. Let's open this gold players pack. Come on EA, hook us up. Even if it's a silver team of the season, just hook us up with a team of the season. We get not quite what I'm looking for. There could still be a silver tots in there. No, there's not. Hilton, Nastasic, Torosidis, Cameron Jerome maybe sold for a little bit extra. Uh, Padoin maybe sold for a little bit extra and the rest of those I do believe are pretty damn worthless leaving us with two premium gold packs and a jumbo premium gold pack come on here it's been such a long time since we packed anything relevant and we get Mark Noble who actually is probably going to get an inform next week because he scored two goals today so we'll save Noble um, we'll save the contracts we'll save the fitness card and the healing card and I'll save that badge just because you never know with badges sometimes weird badges sell for weird prices moving on to the next pack. Harry Kane on a pack. I don't want Harry Kane in the pack. I want a blue card in the pack. And we get Munayin. There could still be a silver blue card in the pack. There is not. There is a there is a silver player in there. Right, Heung-Min Sun will probably sell. Wait, Fletcher went to Marseille? I didn't when did that happen? I don't remember that happening. Does he sell because of that? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um Right, we'll keep that guy because he's got decent pace for a for a defender. We'll store the contracts and fitness card to the club. We'll put Moon Nine to the bench because he may well sell. We'll discard the rest. And now, the final pack. The Jumbo Premium Gold 26 player item pack. Or 26 item pack. Yeah, I beg you. I beg you. Have a silver in there. We get Kingsley Coman. He's probably the most valuable player we've packed in weeks. At 2,000 coins. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Come on, EA. We'll keep that. We won't keep that. We'll keep all of this. We'll keep all of this. We'll keep all of this. A couple of thousand coins in there. Almost as valuable as any of the players that we packed, which is uh, pretty pretty disappointing, pretty disconcerting. Um, that Cruz Azul badge may well sell. He may well sell. The rest I don't think will sell, so we'll discard them. So uh, once again, guys, I have got quite a lot of stuff in... Um, a lot of stuff in the trade pile and a lot of stuff in the club still. I've probably got about thirty to 40,000 coins worth of stuff. We're still probably around the million coin mark after I get rid of and sell everything. Um, so things are looking good in terms of the coins. But 
in terms of the actual series right now, I don't want to be going through a bad patch. I want to go through a good patch and get good players for you guys to see. But anyway, um, I hope hopefully uh, you understand my my trials and tribulations. I'm going to try and do a different style draft tomorrow. Whether it's Draft of Glory or not, I don't know. I might just do a draft on my main account. Um, but anyway, this is going to be the end of the video. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.